yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Good morning, guys. You guys don't understand how much sleep I lost last night thinking, what have I done to Leroy that has caused this problem? And believe it or not, it was super obvious. If you take a gander over here with me, you'll see uh, you'll see this chassis ground, right? It's a nice big chassis ground, big, big old strap. Well, guess what? There, there's the other end of it. That's supposed to be on a cylinder head. So in other words, our engine is not grounded. And I'm guessing that is the reason why we have had that problem all day yesterday. So, although the boost is all figured out, I'm gonna fix this ground strap right now, ground it to the cylinder head, and we're gonna try it, and I'm guessing that it's gonna work. All right, so we're gonna get Leroy warmed up. Hopefully, we only have to make one pull, and it'll be a clean, nice, smooth pull. We can be done with this video, and Leroy's boost controller will be all set and ready to go. As you can see, when Leroy is making his pull, he starts breaking up. Not good. We've checked literally everything as far as coil packs, plugs, anything we can think of. We just can't figure it out. So right now, we're gonna pull the intake manifold off. A lot of Leroy's harness is ran under the intake, so we're just gonna pull the whole thing off, see what's going on underneath there, see if there's a short, a bad ground, anything, and go from there. The intake's off. Everything has always been ran this way on Leroy. We, we run pretty much the main harness under the intake. We're gonna go through everything grounds wise and make sure all the wires are perfect. We found one that looked a little frayed, so hopefully that's our issue. All right guys, we have gone through everything as far as the harness and made sure all of our grounds are just how they should be. We re-crimped some stuff, we added some new ends to things, we tightened down our ground bolts on the back of the heads. So we just gotta put the intake manifold back on and try it again. We're still strapped to the dyno, so hopefully we can have this done pretty quick. Okay guys, we've done this all in an hour because I have to be at the airport in just a little bit to leave the same is pretty much wrapped up. We're ready to go. We're gonna make a hit. I am freaking praying that this fixes it so I can just quit thinking about it, have Leroy ready for Charlotte. Let's hope this works. All right, we need this to work. sale we have one twin turbo corvette cart goes by leroy he's a huge pain sometimes you'll love him but you will kick your butt sometimes this is brutal dude i thought it was good it was it was soaring so guys we have some good news i guess because we figured out the problem but the problem means bad news Right here, what we have is a system log. So essentially, you do a normal data log, or you can do a system log. Thankfully, the Holly has system logs for you know situations like this. This is kind of last resort. We just wanted to look at if the 
cam and crank position sensors were in fact working correctly. Right when I pulled up the system log, I noticed there are some gaps here that correlate exactly to when our RPM is dipping. We really hope it's a bad crank position sensor and that's a super easy swap. I mean, you move the starter, you pull the bad sensor out, you put the new one in and you're good to go. But this is the kind of stuff you have to expect when you make a thousand horsepower. You know, we've been making a thousand horsepower even with this issue. We've probably done 15 or so 1,000 horsepower pulls just on the dyno in the last two days. and. This is crazy. So before we start speculating that Leroy is broken, we're gonna pull that sensor out and take a gander at it. That could be our fix. I'm really hoping that is. We can actually look inside there with a flashlight and see where the reluctor is positioned. Hopefully it's centered right up and we'll just, you know, put in a new sensor and be good to go. So, but I have to go to the airport, so I'll be back and we will get this thing fixed one way or another. It may take a couple weeks, it may take couple hours. Alrighty guys, so at this point I had to head out for a trip. By the time I left, we had narrowed it down to the crank sensor and the cam sensor were giving some false readings in the system log. James went ahead and tore out the crank sensor, took a look at that, ended up replacing it. That didn't seem to do the trick, so we ended up actually replacing the cam sensor next and guess freaking what guys, check it out. Alright guys, James here. Cletus already left for the day. He's gone, he's on his, on his trip. I got the, the go ahead from Eagle Tower 1 to go ahead and do a solo mission on this and see if we can't resolve this issue. So you see there it made uh, 1127. Let's say Leroy's fixed and ready to Ready to go to Streetcar Takeover Charlotte. Guys, I'm so happy to hear that Leroy is ready to go for Streetcar Takeover Charlotte and Denver. I actually have a huge surprise for you guys at the end of this week. I'm super excited. But for now, thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will see you later.